Hi, this is Julian Stout, licensed personal trainer, licensed PE teacher, world record powerlifter here to help you be the best you. Now, today's topic is about why is it important when it comes to this fitness endeavor to be as authentic as humanly possible about what it is that you represent when it comes to fitness. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the Liver King. Um, I don't know if you know who he is, but he is a um, influencer and also a business owner of a supplemental company where he basically tells people he eats basically liver and bull testicles for dinner so that way he can achieve the highest level of his physical dominance as humanly possible to inspire young men to not be subservient to anyone as opposed to just simply living a simple life and um, living in obscurity. Now, the, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because number one, I'm a physical fitness teacher, a physical education teacher, and I lead young adults on a day-to-day -day basis to try to inspire being the best versions of themselves because that's their future. Their future is to be the best versions of themselves. But I represent everything about me as real as humanly possible. I myself am 45 years old, like the Liver King. Uh, I have world records in powerlifting. Those are real, you can Google them. Um, you can, I, I am also, you know, known while I was in the military to be in one of the best shaped soldiers on on the post that I was on. The the thing is is that I everything that I say about me is true. I, I'm not on any steroids. I am and you could check my blood. You can have me tested anytime you want to. I'll be glad to give donate the blood so that way you can actually test it. Nothing about me screams steroids anyway because I don't necessarily look like I'm on steroids. I'm 45 years old. I'm five feet, four inches tall, about 150 pounds. But I am, for the most part, as a 45 year old, relatively in the best shape that a 45 year old man can actually be in. I have some injuries that I'm dealing with at this point in time that is actually holding back my training to the level of which where I really want to be at, but I'm still training and I'm still pushing forward. Now, why am I bringing this up? I know people who are natural bodybuilders who look phenomenal at their ages. And as a result, these people are not utilizing any type of enhancement of any kind. Even in the Liver King's case, who claims that he has recently been taking um, steroids in order to balance his um, hormones, right? And he is being supervised at, while doing it. Um, I'm not going to say he's telling the truth or he's lying, but the fact is, is that he's lied in the past. How do I know he's telling the truth now? Or how does anyone know he's telling the truth now? So if he is telling the truth, he did himself no favors by lying about it to begin with. As a matter of fact, he could have came out and said, you know, prior to 2021, I am not as natural as I once was. And you can also demonstrate and show photographs of yourself prior to 2020, 2021, showing that in fact, your body looked the way it looked previous to your admitted steroid use. But the fact remains is, is that we won't know. Uh, far too many times I hear people in the, in the back seat of any commentary section will claim that everybody's on steroids if they happen to be bigger and stronger than them. But the truth is, is that in many cases, some people are just genetically gifted in being able to sustain a body that is not perceived to be natural. Hard work, dedication also plays a role. Good nutrition, strictly good nutrition plays a huge role as well. And depending on how hard these individuals work, 
and how much time they dedicate to that hard work, it all plays a role in whether or not these things are actually taking place. Now, what I don't want people to assume is, is that everybody that's bigger than them is taking steroids. That's not the case. Yes, the liver king is physically larger than most. He's on steroids, okay. But that doesn't mean that everybody on the planet that is bigger, stronger, faster at an age that is advanced, such as myself and his, is on some type of steroids it, it, it's not fair to any and everyone who actually does put in that work to be accused of such things just simply because they're in a physical condition that exceeds the expectations of mortal men and women but i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to go into this um article so that way we can actually see what he actually said so let's get to it um i'm on tmz.com even though tmz is known to be on top of things i don't necessarily use them as my source but i actually did watch his confession video earlier i'm not going to put it on here but i did watch his confession video and everything that is in this TMZ article is absolutely what he said. So, uh, real quick, the Liver King, a viral ancestral lifestyle influencer, is fessing up to using steroids, apologizing to his followers and for misleading them into believing he was completely natural. So, here's the other thing that I want to bring up is the, the other thing I want to bring up is this: you, you have not done any favors to the young men that you were trying to influence to become greater men because now what you've done is is you've now given them a lesser hope of achieving what you have achieved physically because now they think that the only way that they can achieve a physical fitness level such as yours is to only do drugs and I know that that wasn't your intent and I know that wasn't the, the, the point of what we were trying to achieve, but at the end of the day, what you have done is now promoted the use of steroids, regardless of whether or not you use them legally, whether you use them in a way that just benefits your health so that way you can function normally or function at the highest capacity within normal ranges of a male not necessarily a male that's 45 but a male and it, you've done your your audience such a disservice by doing this like i said as a personal trainer as a power lifter and as a pe teacher i am not i have everything that i say i am i am and i have to be that because I'm trying to influence people to work their absolute hardest day in and day out to achieve what can be possible for them, period. It is not about becoming the largest man on the planet. It's not about becoming so physically imposing that I, you know, I, I just dominate the the landscape of with my with my visual aesthetics but the problem is is that what we we definitely need to pay attention to is the need to do the right thing and say the right things at all times if you're on steroids just say so at least people would know okay if i need to achieve a body like that in that scenario as a 45 year old man there's a high chance that i may need to be on a steroidal compound of some sort maybe not maybe there is a nutritional way to achieve the highest peak that my body can achieve without necessarily resorting to um, medical um, interventions so getting back to the video the the actual read um 45 year old brian johnson gained a ton of followers through his primal living routine which includes eating raw animal organs nine s no nine ancestral tenets and barb barbarian challenges Ooh, okay 
The dude is deniably buff as hell, and despite numerous accusations of using steroids in the past, he continued to claim he earned his physique without any additional help. Now, here's the problem why he did himself no favors, because if he had said or demonstrated that he did in fact achieve his body with no additional help, but then sometime earlier last year, he then resorted to medical interventions, it may not have been so bad if he could have proven it from day one but you danced around the subject you say what you said and then when you fell victim to the need if we're going to take you at face value you could have just simply just said look guys as of right now i'm on some sort of steroid steroidal compound that that allows me but i am not on excessive levels i'm at levels that will balance me out to be healthier down the road, all right? But, but, the liver, but the liver king was forced to face the music after YouTuber More Plates and More Dates released a video exposing the influence steroid cycle earlier this week, which alleged he was injecting $12,000 worth of stuff into his body. Now, here's the scary part. The What I wanna know is, in fairness to the liver king who got hold of his emails and leaked it i don't i'm not a fan of exposing people like that but if you could you know essentially challenge him to prove it and then he can't meet the challenge that'd be one way of exposing him but to actually go into this man's emails and i don't know how you got his emails whoever works for that man and has access to his email accounts I'll leave that to him. More Place More Days even came up with email receipts, which appear to show what exactly the internet star was taking. Now Liver King is coming clean about his steroid use, releasing a six minute long video to his millions of followers to try to explain himself. I'm making this video to apologize because I effed up, because I'm embarrassed and I'm ashamed because I lied and misled a lot of people. Liver King, who had a successful supplement company prior to becoming a viral personality, says he struggled to handle being in the public eye once he blew up. He decided to cut corners in order to keep up with his audience expectations. It's been tricky as F to navigate, he said. Well, clearly I did it wrong and I'm here now to set the record straight. Yes, I've done steroids and yes, I'm on steroids monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. Louis King says he continued to run with the facade for those dealing with mental health issues who look up to him, hoping ancestral living will provide a solution to their problems. While spreading the message, I've been on several podcasts and when asked if I've ever taken steroids, I've always said no, I don't touch the stuff, not going to touch the stuff, never touch the stuff, that was a lie convinced myself that this had nothing to do with the ancestral message. The Liver King has previously said he makes millions of dollars a month, including his supplement brand. He says he trained clean for decades, but in 2021, he wasn't feeling 100% physically, so he made the decision to use steroids. He kept it private because he didn't want to spread the wrong message or have his previous fitness success overshadowed. So the thing is, here lies the problem you actually have done that it is now overshadowed because you never managed to come clean with it he also admitted to taking another um type of um peptide compound that screwed up his metabolism more which then is why he sought out clinical help but now i i i don't this is why it is important to just simply come clean at the moment if you have become at a high level of whatever it is that you've become and you now realize that whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish is not going to be accomplished very much longer in the way that you wish this is the time you need to come out and say hey guys this is not who i am anymore because it it takes away from your previous accomplishments because now how do we know you haven't been on them ever before 2021 
and and this is why it's important to always be forthcoming with your audience so that way your authenticity will always come out so that way you can be the best you guys don't forget to like subscribe share follow me on facebook instagram and on youtube have a nice day be the best you Bye.